everyone, it's Katie Filling with the Venture Philly Group. Welcome back to our channel. Philadelphia is a city with a rich history and its architecture reflects the styles and influences that have shaped the city over the past centuries. From colonial era homes to modern high rise buildings, Philadelphia has a wide variety of types of homes that suits every lifestyle and taste. Today in this video, we're going to show you the most common types of homes that you'll find in the city of Philadelphia. I want to say thank you to our sponsors, Mortgage Country for making this video possible. Now let's get into it. First up are row houses. Row houses in Philadelphia are some of the city's most iconic and recognizable homes. They're multi-story homes that are built side by side in a linear fashion, creating a uniform look and feel in many of the city's neighborhoods. Row houses are typically narrow in design and they were popular in the 19th century as a way to maximize space in the city's densely populated areas. Constructing houses in a row was cost effective and efficient for builders since they could replicate designs and buy materials in bulk. Many of these homes have been beautifully restored and updated over the years, offering modern upgrades while still retaining their classic charm. Characteristics of row houses in Philadelphia often include brick exteriors, narrow front facades, and porches or stoops. The interiors of row houses in Philadelphia can vary greatly, with some featuring traditional layouts and others showcasing more modern and open floor plans. There's many subcategories of row houses, including Georgian townhouses, brownstones, trinities, Victorian style, Queen Anne's, Italianate style, Greek revival, Gothic revival, urban mansions, and more. The term row house is typically used when all the homes in the row are the same. Townhouses are very similar because they share walls, but they can vary more on the exterior. Regardless of their style, row homes in Philadelphia offer a unique living experience and are a beloved part of the city's rich architectural heritage. Next is modern high-rises. Modern high-rise condo buildings in Philadelphia are a popular choice for those looking for a contemporary living experience in the heart of the city. These buildings offer luxurious amenities, stunning views, and a great location, making them a desirable choice for those seeking a low maintenance and convenient lifestyle. High-rise condo buildings in Philadelphia are typically made of glass and steel, offering a sleek and modern look that stands out against the city's more traditional architecture. They often feature amenities such as fitness centers, pools, rooftop terraces, and on-site security, providing residents with a comfortable and secure living environment. The units themselves are designed with modern conveniences in mind with open floor plans, high ceilings, and state-of-the-art appliances and finishes. Whether you're looking for a pied-à-terre in the city or a full-time residence, high-rise condo buildings in Philly offer a unique and sophisticated living experience that's perfect for those seeking a modern and urban lifestyle. Next, let's talk about Trinities. Trinity homes were initially established as low-cost housing for the working class in the late 1600s. The oldest and most well-known examples of Trinity homes can be found in Old City's Elfris Alley. These brick structures were constructed to provide housing for tradesmen and artisans and were built in Georgian and federal styles along cobblestone streets. These three-story homes, also known as band boxes, were designed with only one room on each floor connected by a narrow spiral staircase. Measuring between 500 to 1,000 square feet, they can be considered as the original tiny homes. They were often constructed on courts behind larger properties or in alleys dividing bigger blocks and were no wider than 16 feet on any side. In the late 20th century, the city's economic growth saw these 100-year-old Trinity homes become collectible and sought after by young professionals and history enthusiasts. These new homeowners were eager to renovate and expand these tiny homes by adding roof decks, hardwood floors, modern bathrooms, and restoring working fireplaces, giving them a fresh look with painted doors, shutters, and window boxes filled with flowers. Finally, new construction townhomes and condos. Philadelphia is currently experiencing a boom in this category. Developers are building stylish and modern homes that cater to a wide range of tastes and budgets. These homes offer amenities such as rooftop terraces, open floor plans, and smart home features. Many of the new developments are located in walkable neighborhoods with easy access to public transportation and bustling commercial areas. Northern Liberties, Fishtown, and Old Kensington specifically are seeing tons 
tons of new development. And of course, you'll find new construction homes sprinkled throughout even some of the oldest and most historic areas of the city. As the city continues to grow, more and more people are attracted to the convenience and lifestyle offered by these contemporary homes. Whether you're a first-time home buyer, a young professional, or a growing family, there is a new construction townhome or condo in Philadelphia that will fit your needs. So those are the most common types of homes that you'll find in the city of Philadelphia. We hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you're interested in learning more or even interested in purchasing a home in the city of Philadelphia, be sure to reach out to us. Our contact information is in the description below. Be sure to subscribe to our channel. We put out new videos every week and leave a comment below to let us know what you think. Have a great day.